tiny compared to a super tanker. The Rainbow Warrior III is still a supersized gadfly for oil companies, whaling nations, and nuclear weapon states. The name resonates through history. In 1985, the French Secret Service bombed and sank the namesake vessel, come to disrupt France's nuclear testing in the South Pacific. A photographer died, but his stunned crewmates felt something had changed. So it did show us that our aims and our, what we were doing was actually rocking the status quo of many governments around the world. A German shipyard built the new vessel to rigorous specifications for safety, and environmental friendliness. Well, there's basically five huge sails. It's also almost 60 meters long, can hit 14 knots using sail power, make its own water, and stay at sea for months. Kumi Nadu is boarding the Leif Erikson as part of a peaceful protest. But in an era of social media-led revolutions, is there still a need for the high-profile stunts Greenpeace is famous for? I think the environmental movement specifically and the global justice movement more broadly has to come to terms with the fact that even though we are winning some important historic and very very relevant struggles we still are losing the planet. We have not yet got the fine art of the connectivity between different types of activism and how they gel together. I think we are getting better at it but I still think that we have ways to go still. It's a bottle that can't be recycled now. But the champagne christens the ship and, hopefully, brings it luck in future battles. Rainbow Warrior 3 now sets sail for Europe and the United States to meet with donors and for sea trials. After that, it's off to points unknown because of operational secrecy and because you never know where the next oil spill may strike. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Raymond.